What's going on today, guys? Today we are gonna be talking about a topic that not a lot of people agree on, but this is just kind of my viewpoint on the topic. And pretty much the topic is, as you saw from the title of this video, is should you be buying ball pythons from PetSmart? So let's get into the video. So with ball pythons from PetSmart, as you hear from a lot of other people that they're being imported, not what I hear at all. I hear that they are just basically bred at a reptile mill where, you know, they're basically just produced for their money. They're not produced, you know, for the quality of the animal. They're just, they're just made to get a bunch of money, get them out to um, a bunch of, you know, supply chain or chain pet shops like PetSmart, Petco. So I'm going to show you guys a couple that I've gotten from PetSmart. I bought them the other day just because I felt really bad for the animal because of how skinny these guys were. These guys were just so skinny. They are feeding them fuzzy mice, which you are supposed to be feeding these guys anywhere from small to adult mice when they're around the stage. I feed one of them that I got already adult mice. The other one's going to be getting uh, assist fed fuzzies because he has not taken any of from me right now. But right now he is also in shed. So hopefully after this shed, he will look a lot better and maybe he'll even try and go for one himself. So I'll show you guys the snakes right now and we'll talk a little bit on that. And I'll kind of give you my viewpoint on this. So right here, I got the ball pythons. This one is the one that I have to assist feed right now. So far, I've He's in shed right now, so he looks, you know, he's, yeah, he's still really skinny. I feel his vertebrae. This one is not near as bad. This one, it takes for me. He eats really well. He, you can still, he's still a little bit skinny, but he's, he's still a lot better than this one. I hope this one takes off. This is my male. This is my female. The female is a bigger one. She's also a lot lighter in color. Well, also, you can, I can't really tell from this one as, I mean, he, he's in shed. I, will, I can't wait to see his colors when he's out of shed, and I will be showing you guys him probably when he's out of shed. I'll be doing updates on these guys a lot, uh, showing you how these guys are doing. Basically, so back to my point of the video. I went into PetSmart, and uh, I went to go get a filter for my, tur my snapping turtles. Uh, it's a stock tank or whatever, you know, those big ones that they use for like, horses or whatever like to drink out of and stuff like that I have them in one of those it's 150 gallon or I think so but I was getting a filter for that and when I was out there getting a filter I saw three ball pythons there two, uh, two normals these two and then a uh, banana ball python they're selling the banana ball python for 350 bucks and these and these guys for 60 I know that's still over what they should be selling for ball pythons, but I felt so bad for how skinny they were, I had to go and pick them up. And I know that they can just get sold to another person who may do the right thing when owning these guys. But a lot of people, when they go into PetSmart, they don't know what they're doing. They will ask PetSmart for advice, and it's 50-50. But when I first went and got my forever first ball python back when I was like in first, no, fifth grade, it was fourth or fifth grade, I, I got jack shit on, uh, you know, how to take care of them. They did really bad on it. I, I was kind of upset about it now that I think about it, about how bad it was. They gave me a really small ball python, probably about the size of this, and they gave me a big 20 gallon. Now, most of the, a lot of times I've had luck with ball pythons in too big of an enclosure that they will not want to eat because they are so stressed out that they don't have. Snakes, most of the times, will feel smaller or better in a smaller, um, you know, container or smaller uh, enclosure for them. So basically, I have these guys in containers about this big. This is a decent sized one for a Little one, just a little grow out tank. Well, I know they're 100% healthy, then I'll move them to 10 gallons. Actually, no, I'll probably keep them in this for a little while till they get some size on them. Then I'll probably move them up to a 20 gallon and then do some other things to make sure the humidity stays in there. So they don't, but when I got my ball python, they told me feed it fuzzy mice and it'll be fine. 
Obviously, that is not at all it. Mice will never, ever be good enough for when these guys are full-grown adults, and they will be chowing down on small rats to medium rats. About my biggest one eats medium rats every two weeks. Muddy, you guys have seen her. She is around over four feet, definitely. Uh, she's around six years old. These guys, when they get shipped to PetSmart, are probably not even two weeks old sometimes because you can tell that they are probably not fed when they are shipped to them. They just want to get the hatch them out of the egg. I think they usually will wait for their uh, shed, their first shed to happen, then they ship them to uh, their supplies, their supply chain. In my idea, in my mind, the PetSmart that I go to or that I and my local PetSmart is not a good one for buying snakes from. I know I've seen some other ones where they're not bad. I've gone to some PetSmarts where they actually have good sized ball pythons that are way healthier than this one. But when I first got in there, uh, the, I asked the lady, All right, can I see some ball pythons? Sure, of course. I asked how, how these guys have been eating. The other one I just put away, the healthy one, has been eating great. This one, she says we've had it for a week, and it hasn't eaten. I'm like, well, he's usually not going to eat after a week of being in an enclosure. And I gave him a few days. I gave him about mm, four or five days, and I tried feeding him nothing. And he just looked so skinny. I was just like, ah, I got to assist feed or something here. Because he is just in bad shape. I've been soaking them a bit. Just I've been soaking them both just to make sure that they're healthy. Or just get their skin all. Um, trying to think, you know, hydrated. So they're, they get to have easy sheds when they're in this, hopefully. That they this one will produce a great shed. And his feeding response will go up after that. Sometimes that's happened with ball pythons I've had in the past. Sometimes it doesn't. Obviously, you know, PetSmart takes it is like some of them act like those ball pythons are going to stay this size forever. No, ball pythons can get well over four feet. Sometimes I've, I've seen, you know, videos and pictures of them getting up to six feet, but that's rare pretty much is for a six foot ball python, unless it's probably like an angry ball, which is a blood and a ball python mixed together. So... I think that's what an angry blood is. No, that might be a... No, I think that's a super ball. It is a blood python and a ball python. I'm not sure. I'm not the big with ball python and blood python hybrids. I focus on my retics, my Burmese pythons. That's what I focus on because that's what am I am breeding right now. I am breeding my big tiger reticulated python to my albino granite Burmese python to hopefully, hopefully make Borneo baddies, which would be sick because not a lot of people do them they're hard to breed but you know with my big female and a male berm so supposedly like you know a lot of people not like to do that but it's pretty much the same outcome my that snake's so sweet they've never had any problems when going in with each other first time i ever tried to put it together she wagged her tail obviously then or you know they do that sometimes if they're not ready to breed then i took him out a week later put him in she was fine they're going back in with each other every three to four days and they're in with each other for about every three to four days. But anyways, off, I was off topic for a little bit, but now I'm going to get back on it. So basically, my opinion with buying snakes from PetSmart is if you trust PetSmart and you, let's say you know a person that works there, that knows stuff about snakes, I'd say go ahead and buy it. If you know and that they also looking good health that they don't have any mites they don't have any stuck shed i've gone to pet smart before and i've seen stuck shed eye caps on, all, on a lot of ball pythons there before underweight all like a lot of the time but not anymore my ball i mean usually when, like the ball pythons i went in they're obviously underweight they're way too young to be even sold right now but my ball pythons are all doing great i have four ball pythons <laughs> And they are all doing fantastic. These two are doing a little bit better since when I first got them. This one didn't barely wanted to move at all. Didn't want to move. It was very just like I thought it was gonna die within the first couple days. I just felt so bad for it. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. I don't care how much money it is. 
I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna buy it and see if I can get it back to health. And then maybe someday I probably will rehome these guys. Cause right now I have four normal ball pythons. I don't need four normal ball pythons. I'd rather have, you know, banana ball pythons, pies, all that cool stuff. But then again, with me knowing me, I get attached to all my animals, which sucks. Especially since I want to breed my snakes. Knowing me, I'm going to see all the babies and be like, I want every one. But I won't because I'm going to sell them. <laughs> so pretty much that is all I got to say on these snakes. I, feel, I felt bad for them. But if you're going to buy from PetSmart, I'll do your own research. Don't listen to what they say. Uh, buy probably a container, I'd say for first because they keep humidity in better. Put cypress mulch. Ball, uh, Pret Smart will usually tell you Aspen. No. Ball pythons are a tropical species. They need more humidity than what Aspen will, Aspen will put in. A lot of people say put Aspen in. If you put Aspen in, put in a humidity hide. A lot of people, you know, recommend that. I do not. I think when you put in cypress mulch, their, sh their sheds will be a lot better. There's a lot more humidity and it works a lot better. So that's pretty much all I got to say about, th about this to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe and tune in next week for our next video on a lot of what I've done to the snake room. I'm going to show you guys some stuff out in the other part of the shop showing you what I've done with my snapping turtle, my rabbit, and we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys a lot more new enclosures for the big snakes and it's going to be awesome. See you guys next week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.